Hey Wasabis, this is Cherby from Couch Wasabi. So for today's video, we have yet another new batch of beans that I wanted to try. This is from Crescendo Coffee Roasters Excelsa Coffee. It's my first time to actually have a hold of any Excelsa bean. I've never tried Excelsa. I've only tried the usual Arabica and Robusta. So it's very interesting for me to taste this. Plus, I was told that this has a very prominent jackfruit or langka flavor that's really very interesting for me so if you're interested to get to know more about this batch of beans then please keep on watching all right so we have our setup as you can see um i will be using my brita water as usual and let's start this now i've waited 15 days <laughs> for this to peak um, roast date is last February 3rd. It's very, very fresh upon ordering it from Master Lindon. And oh, niya talaga. so I'm very excited to try it out. And I was told that Excelsa beans are actually very rare. So, konti lang yung produce in a year. What really sold me into buying this is that. I asked two friends and sabi nila talagang na taste nila yung jackfruit. So I, it got me really, really interested. Because I've never captured jackfruit in any of my brews. For today, let me just try 15 grams. Tapangan natin. <laughs> I normally use 12 grams in a serving. So now going natin 15. And I will try the 50 50 50 pouring method. Because yun yung sinadjust ni Master Lyndon sa akin. So this was roasted last February 3rd. The peak is today, February 18th. I'm very much excited to try this out. In fact, nilinis ko pa talaga itong grinder para walang ibang contaminants or walang ibang lasa. Hmm, bango. This is already set at um, 4 over. This is gonna be fast, so let me just prep everything. Kasi baka may excite ako pagtapos nun yung mag-grind. So, let me just prep my dripper. As usual, I am using my favorite affordable Daiso dripper. I'm promoting Daiso dripper so much na. Okay. Let me just heat up some water. And it's gonna be very fast. Because it takes 30 seconds to grind it all with this grinder. So let me prep everything else before we proceed with the grind. I'm using 15 grams today. It's, you know, a, a little different from what I used to do. And I will be using the 50-50-50 method. Okay. And so my cats are always there. Wanting to be in the frame. Okay. Let me just grind this now. It's done that fast. Very amazing. And I was told hindi mo siya dapat i-grind ng pahika. Dapat talaga like this. Okay, so it's done. All right. And this is also boiled. Sakto lang sila. Okay, let me just measure out my water to 300 ml. Three thirteen. All right, so now we're all set. That was fast. I forgot to uh, put a little water, para hindi siya mag static. Okay, always have to remember that. Ang dami niyang Ang dami static. 
Super dami. I had to put it all here. I might have to get... Oh my god, the static is like really crazy. I forgot to put a drop of water in the bean. Should have done that. Yeah, yun lang. Medyo marami siyang static. So let us just put them all in. I'd say this is medium fine. Anyway, it smells so good. I would say there's an earthy tone into it. Yeah, there's definitely an earthy tone into it. Parang lasang leaves. So I've brushed everything all in. And this has cooled down a bit now. So hindi na siya boiling hot water. I would say it's at about 92 to 96. And let us start. So let's try that. Start 50. ta -da! Yeah! Was able to capture that. I, I think it's a, it has a very distinct aroma. Kakaiba siya than the usual beans that I've been brewing. So, I'm just interested to... Okay. Wow. It's looking very, very glorious. Okay, and then third pour. Whoops. I'm going to give it a little swirl and uh, my final pour whoops all right so there you go let's just wait for this to fall down and let it cool a bit <laughs> yeah actually manage on earthy like very earthy smell into it talaga all right so i think this is done i don't want to over extract it kasi baka pumait and let's wait for this to cool down okay the smell to me is so much like coffee there's nothing peculiar about the smell um i hope i'm able to capture the langka side of it um, for sure, it will come out once it has cooled down. For sure, hindi ko siya taste while it's this piping hot. So, I'm not even gonna try to capture it at this state. But, what I do notice is that on its dry state, it has a very unique scent. Um, hmm. It has a leafy scent. Uh, okay, so... And then, during the brewing, I can sense the earthiness of it yung parang grounding grounding smell but i hope it it tastes amazingly peculiar you know what i mean hindi siya yung parang weird na ano so <laughs> oh actually it's not that bad hmm it's not that bad. Um, hmm. It's not even like intensely strong. It has a weird parang sophistication into it. Okay. So now it has a very strong parang aftertaste there will be slight bitterness into it
Let me check again the flavor notes. It says durian, jackfruit, langka, durian, walnut, and bay leaf. Wow, those are really like strong um, flavor notes talaga to capture, no? <laughs> and so I'm very interested if I can make it appear in this cup. Maybe I've used like a very fine grind. Baka kailangan mas coarse. Should have taken a picture while it wasn't um, brewed. Habang hindi siya basa. Pero I did a medium fine grind for today. And this is not boiling hot water anymore. Okay. Nothing naman too kadiri or off-putting. To me, it still tastes like coffee. Pero, it has a strong lingering aftertaste. Which I know some people would want that. As regards to the smell, it has a different aroma versus the ones that I normally gravitate towards too. Because like me, I really like buying Ethiopian beans and lately I've been trying to get to know Central American beans because I've heard um, the Colombias and Bolivias, those Central American beans also would have like a nice profile into them. So I'm trying to discover that part of the world. <laughs> um, but normally I really love Ethiopian beans um, more than Kenyan beans. Because uh, Kenyan parang more on the citrusy side. I'm not really into that. I wanted like the sweet, innately sweet kind of beans. And so I really wanted to capture them from... I mean, I, re I know that it's not really a part of the Philippine bean profile. Because the Philippine bean profile, at most, the sweetness is nasa Cordillera or Mount Apo, which I've tried before and I wasn't really that um, satisfied with the sweetness versus the ones that I've tried from um, the other parts of the world. I was really curious about the jackfruit and durian. And two of my friends already confirmed that they were able to capture durian. So I was really curious now. Okay, so if I not capture, it's a usual case of it's not you, it's me. <laughs> so let me just try this again while it has cooled down. Okay, right now, the scent, the aroma is actually developing now. I still can capture the durian or jackfruit. Alam ko naman siguro yung amoy niya, no? But, okay, so now I can capture like the nuttiness of it. The bay leaf part or the earthiness to me is captured prior brewing at its dry state. Na amoy ko yung parang leafy side of it. I've never really tasted bay leaf, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Pero yung amoy niya, yung amoy leaves, it was, it was there before brewing. Um, another friend naman told me na, very earthy. Hindi mm, naman, okay naman. I mean, I know I've tasted these kinds of coffee before. It has a very different like way of complexity. As it draws in your mouth, for example, when you take a sip. It's coffee. There's nothing weirdly disgusting about it. There's nothing also peculiarly amazing about it. Niko ma capture parin yung durian and jackfruit. So let me just wait for this to cool down a bit and try again. It's a good cup of coffee. I mean, nothing super amazing, but nothing also bad about it. So this is from Maramag Bukidnon, and I was told by the farmer herself na hindi ganun ka common yan. Parang once a year lang daw yung produce nila for this bean. It's really rare, and so I'm really um, excited to grab my hands into it. 
And I'm really, I mean, plainly, I'm just curious on how would a jackfruit and a durian bean taste like. So I'm very interested to um, try this out. And hopefully, uh, once it cools down, lumabas na yung jackfruit and yung langka sa akin. <laughs> Yeah, so cover man na siya while we're waiting for this to cool down. Um, this cup, by the way, is sponsored by DeLonghi. Thank you so much, Iris, <laughs> for sending um, your DeLonghi double walled cup. I really love it. I really enjoy using it, especially for my videos. It's really nice. Um, let's just wait for that to cool down. And hopefully, I am able to get the jackfruit flavor notes of it. Okay? All right. So more or less 20 minutes has passed. This is super cool down na. Okay, at this state, at its cool down state, mas evident na yung leafy um, dimension niya. Okay, I didn't quite capture still the fruity notes, but there's a different, like a unique development of flavors when you taste this. It's not your typical coffee, definitely. Uh, I can't pinpoint kung ano, pero meron kakaiba sa kanya. Nothing is off-putting in my cup, so I'm thankful for that. I'm actually very nervous because <laughs> I also have another friend who didn't like this batch of beans that much. And so I was really nervous to try it out, but I made sure to wait until it's peak before I ever try it. So the rose date is February 3rd. I waited 15 full days, February 18th, to try it out just you know, to make sure that I minimize all the risks of kapalpakan and I clean my grinder, make sure everything is ano. I use not boiling hot water. I did use medium fine grind, pero I was told I could have used like a medium or a coarser um, grind. Pero kasi I normally use this setting na for all my pour overs, so I just wanted everything to be constant para parang mas pantay when I. Um, taste them all. Actually, yeah. Um, di ba kanina, it leaves a very strong aftertaste. Parang bitter aftertaste. But now, hindi na. Actually, right now, when you take a sip, There's that coffee taste, pero it quickly develops into something very, I would say light, I would say elevated. I, would, I can't say sweet, pero yun yung same feeling that I get whenever I try my Ethiopian beans. Aromatically, hindi na siya ganun, ka-aromatic, kasi normally naman the aromatics would come during its very hot state. But right now, it has boldness at the beginning but it quickly dries down. Pero wala na siyang lingering bitter aftertaste. It actually goes down very clear. But I can still connect it with durian and jackfruit. Maybe it's because of me, but two of my friends, they already mentioned that they are uh, able to capture the langka side of it. I can't! Even my friend who didn't like this cup that much, sabi niya na kaya naman niya i-capture yung langka. It's just that the earthiness over-empowers his cup. So maybe because he used boiling hot water, I don't know, but I used na hindi boiling hot water. Tapos, I use um, medium fine, as you can see. I'm pretty much happy with the consistency of my grind, actually. 
Like when I used to use the other grinder, medyo weird yung itsura. But now, it's, it's nice. Okay naman siya sa akin. I like it. I mean, what's a not-so-nice cup for me? Ako kasi, personally, ayoko yung masyadong bitter. Ayoko yung nag-iwan ng maraming bitter aftertaste. I hate those kinds of coffee. But I know some people dig those kinds of coffee. It's just that it's not part of my um, range, I would say. This one is not like that. So it goes down pretty decent. As in, parang... It doesn't leave footprint, parang ganun. So it goes down your throat clean, no bitter aftertaste. Fruitiness, I can't capture the fruitiness. I was only able to capture like the earthiness, the leafy part of it, I was able to capture at its dry state. But let me just take a whiff sa bag. Mabango yung bag. <laughs> Kakaiba yung amoy niya talaga. So parang, you would know na, oh, this is a very different... It has a very different aroma into it. So it's very interesting. And I'm also interested to try this out with my fin. I recently purchased a fin filter, yung Vietnamese style. So I'm... I think this would also go well with that. But I will try and let you know. I will try to compare... Um... French press, fin, and this one. So I will brew um, three cups and then let's try it out. I think that would be interesting. One last taste. Hindi ko talaga ma achieve yung langka. But there's a very pleasant end, end note into it. It doesn't give that lingering bitter taste as compared to kanina nung mainit siya. Kasi kanina, when you drink it, it's bold, tapos it dries down a little bit like strong. But now at its cool state, it's not anymore. So okay siya. Um, I'm not sure if this would go well as cold brew. Maybe. Um, but I think it would go well with ano, Vietnamese style coffee. Like when you put condensed milk and very hot and all that pizzazz. <laughs> I think it would go well. Anyway, I guess that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helped pique your interest in trying out some of our local beans. This is again from Crescendo Coffee Roasters. And the master roaster behind this is Lyndon, Master Lyndon. Um, he's been guiding me how to improve my brew. Very generous of his... Um, knowledge about coffee and yeah so there you go i hope you take time to try some of his beans out marami siyang parang mga blockbuster um, beans you can try out tangerine 27 if you're into espresso and he has a lot of other beans that you can check out he's a very very passionate um pinoy home roaster and yeah, I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me up until this point. And I hope to see you on my next coffee video. Bye!